Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is rules for block diagram reduction. From the exam point of view, you can well expect one numerical related to block diagram reduction for 6 to 8 marks. But before solving the numericals, you should be well comfortable with the rules used for reduction of block diagram. Now, before starting the rules, I would like to explain you a few basic things required for block diagram reduction. First, what is the meaning of block? Block is, as the name indicates, it performs certain operations, certain action on the input signal. We know that in case of control system, input is denoted by R of T, that is some reference input, and output is denoted by C of T. But we are supposed to do all the calculations using Laplace transformation. So in Laplace, the notations are written as R of S, capital R of S, and C of S at the output. These are the notations. Every block has some gain. The gain of a block is denoted by G and we know the basic formula of gain. Gain is output divided by input. Now output is C of S and input is R of S. So very simple gain is expressed as C of S upon R of S. Next point is summing point. As the name indicates, this block represents summation or addition of two signals. I have drawn, I have shown two signals X and Y. No signs are shown over here or sometimes in the exam plus sign is marked over here. So very simple logic. X and Y are two inputs to this block. This block is known as summing block or summing point. Z is the output which is given as X plus Y. Suppose in this case, minus sign is mentioned over here then very simple it will be x minus y so check at the sign for the second input or first input wherever it is given and do the calculations accordingly so summing point is a point is a block which performs either addition or subtraction depending on the signs given for inputs x and y next is take off point as the name indicates we are taking off some signal from a particular point I have shown a simplified block diagram of some system. G is the block having gain, uh, having gain, uh, some value of gain. This is known as the summing point. Here input is applied. This is the output which we usually denoted by C of S. A part of output is taken back and applied to the input side. So this particular path which I have drawn it with the black pen is known as feedback path. Very simple because part of the signal is applied from input to the uh, uh, from output to the input that is it is paid back to the input so this is known as feedback path whereas this path this is the input line it is applied to the summer then uh, some feedback signal is again applied to the summer combination of this will be applied to block G and as G will process the signal I mean make changes in the signal and out, it will produce some output and it is applied to the output end. So this path is known as the forward path. The point from where we have taken the feedback is known as take off point. So these are few uh, points, few things required for the block diagram reduction. Now we will start studying the rules used for block diagram reduction. What's the use of block diagram reduction? In case of complicated network, there can be any blocks connected with each other. So if you apply certain rules, then entire connection of blocks, complex blocks can be reduced into a single block. So designing becomes simple. Now first rule is cascade connection. As the name indicates, cascade, one more thing. Remember the word is cascade or sometimes the word series is also used. Very simple. If the blocks are connected one after other or in another language, output of one block is connected at the input of other block as shown in this diagram. We know the standard notation. At the input, we have to write uh, R of S and at the output, C of S. So these are the two blocks G1 and G2 which are connected one after other that means they are in series. If such blocks are in series they can be combined into a single block whose transfer function is 
G1 into G2. That is multiplication of the two. Suppose there is one more block having transfer function G3. Then we would have written G1 into G2 into G3 and so on. So it's very simple. If the blocks are in cascade, just take multiplication of the transfer functions or gains of that block. And you can reduce the number of blocks which are in cascade into a single block. Second, parallel connection. As the name indicates, there are, I have shown three blocks. There can be n number of blocks which are connected in parallel. Very simple logic. Three different lines I have shown and a combined input is applied. So remember it like this. For different blocks, if same input is applied, then they are in, cas uh, they are in parallel. So I have shown three blocks, G1, G2 and G3, which are connected in parallel. Output of all blocks, input is common. So we know that input is R of S. It is common for each block. Output is also common, but they are connected in parallel. Suppose in the question, I mean, uh, in the block given block, the signs are not mentioned. By default, for this, this, this we know that this is the adder block or summer block. If signs are not mentioned, by default, you need to consider the plus sign. So output of this can be written as G1 plus G2 plus G3. Do remember it like this. If blocks are in parallel, perform the addition of all transfer functions or all gains. Suppose for G3, in the diagram, this is given as the minus sign. Then I would have written this as G1 plus G2 minus G3. Very simple. Depending on the signs, if signs are not given, consider it as positive. If negative sign is given for that particular gain, for G3 line, negative sign is shown. So I have written it as minus G3. So what we learn, if the blocks are in series, Combine it into one block whose transfer function is G1 multiplication of the two transfer function. If they are in parallel, check the signs at the summer point and accordingly perform addition or subtraction. So you can convert all the three blocks as shown in, the, in this diagram into a single block. Now the third rule is eliminate a feedback. We have already discussed what's the feedback. Feedback is some part of part of signal is taken from output and applied to the input. The G of S is known as the block which is in the forward path. This is the forward path. Very simple. The path from input to output. This path is forward path. Whereas the path which is taken from output to the input side is known as reverse or feedback path. G of S is transfer function or gain of a block which is in forward path. H of S is the gain. There is one more block H of S which is in the backward or, or feedback path. Now, you, have, you can convert this entire diagram which contains a feedback path into a single block whose transfer function is G of S upon G of S is the gain of forward path. G of S upon 1 plus G of S into H of S. So, Remember it like this, forward path, write it in numerator, numerator term, divided by 1, plus or minus multiplication of these two. Now, how to decide whether plus or minus? Very simple trick I will tell you. If in case of this feedback, minus sign is there, then consider this as plus sign. It is always and always opposite. In, uh, in, in other case, suppose this is no sign is given, that means plus sign is given or plus sign is written, whatever it is, then consider this as a minus sign. But in any case, Forward path must be written in the numerator term divided by 1 plus or minus. This plus or minus will depend on this sign, opposite of this. And then uh, G of S into H of S, that is multiplication of these two paths. So these are the three important rules. Let us learn few more rules. Next rule number four is associative law of summing point. Now it is same uh, as the associative rule which we use in maths. For example, uh, if we have a into b, we can well write it as b into a and so on. So, I have shown this block diagram. There are two summer points. Uh, first summer point is having input b1. I mean, actual input is rs. Another input to summer point is b1. And for second summer point, input is b2. Total output is c of s. If this is the case, I mean, this sign will remain as it is minus minus if this is the case we can interchange b1 and b2 so i can write first b1 and then b2 but while doing it do remember one critical point 
there must not be any block between these two summer points if there would have been any block then this rule is not applicable meaning is if the blocks are directly connected i mean if the summer blocks summing points are directly connected one after other without any block in between then and then only the positions can be interchanged this is known as associative law for summing point next is shifting summing point before a block we know that this is known as a shifting point this is some block having gain g suppose this is the given diagram this is the summer point whose another input is x and first input is the output of this block g suppose for uh, reducing the block diagram if i want this summer point to get shifted before the block then how to do it very simple logic this is the given diagram rx is the input i have kept input as it is i have shifted this summer point before the block it is drawn like this and instead of directly applying x add one block whose gain is 1 by g reciprocal of this once again listen i want to shift this summer point before this block so directly for draw this diagram but add one more block whose transfer function whose gain is reciprocal of this block so 1 by g and then apply input x this is the way how you can shift summing point before the block opposite rule if you want to shift summing point uh, after the block suppose this is the given diagram in which this is the summing point whose uh, another input is x and one input is r of s if i want to shift this summing point after the block then reverse of this in this case first shift the summer point after the block like this which i have drawn but to this summer add one block whose gain is same as the original uh, gain of the original block then this x input remains as it is so make it simple if you want to shift summer point before block before block then add the block whose transfer from whose gain is 1 by g if you want to shift the summing point after the block then add the block whose gain is g now the next rule is shifting take off point before block now how to do it this point is known as a take off point i have already explained the concept take off point is a point from where feedback connection is taken out and it is applied at the input side let us say this is the take off point from where suppose x is the signal that we are taking it out and applying at the input side r is the input g is the block presently this take off point is after the block if i want to shift it before the block then first shift this take off point before the block like this so this point is here which is shifted and add one uh, block whose gain is same as the original gain so it is g and then take out the point take out the signal x last rule is shifting take off point after the block it is opposite of the first rule this is the take off point from where signal x is taken it is actually before the block if i want to shift it after the block then this is the take off point which is shifted after the block but before taking out the signal x add reciprocal of this block this this is g so add one more block whose transfer function is 1 by g and then take out the signal back so dear students these are the basic rules which are used to solve or you which are used to reduce the block diagram actually there are one or two more critical rules that we will study i will explain you while actually solving the numericals so that's it for today's session once again these rules are very very important for solving the numericals in the next session we will solve the numericals related to this block diagram reduction techniques thank you very much